Hey guys, Melissa again, uh, and this is, you know, um, kind of part two of what I got from the Jim Rohn talk that is linked. And, um, and another thing that I really liked about it is that he talked about the parable of the sower and the reaper from the Bible. And he likened that to what we're doing with our network marketing businesses. Now, Jim Rohn is not specific to any company. He's been doing this for 30, 35 years, and he um, now does um, talks to people like us at conventions and things like that. So, um, so his advice is generic as far as that goes, but it's also specific to the network marketing industry and to us as potential builders for a network marketing company, which is what Young Living is. So when he talks about the sower and the reaper, um, the story of the, of the parable of the sower and the reaper from the Bible talks about a man who is essentially a farmer and he has really good seed. So he's starting with a good product already, which is what we have. We have a, a, a life-changing, phenomenal product. Um, you, you're, you're not going to get better essential oils than what we have with Young Living. We are the, the company that has been around for longer than any other company on the market. We have more options available than any other company on the market. And, I mean, ob honestly, we're so different as an essential oil company that the FDA doesn't even have a slot for us. They don't have a slot for oils that are pure enough to use both topically and internally. And ours are there. So here's the parable of the sower and the reaper in terms of that. We have a great product. And... We are the farmer and our seed, our great product, is either our business opportunity um, or our oils and the life-changing benefits that you can find. So the sower takes and he throws his seed out on the ground and he's going to throw a lot of seed because the first 10% of the seed, some of the seed is going to fall on bad soil and it's not really going to grow. It's just going to sit there and the birds are going to get it. They're going to fly off with it. Now, what does that mean? That means that some of your people that you invite to a meeting, you can invite them 10 times and they'll say 10 times, I'm going to be there this time. And they never are. The birds got them. Now, are we going to stop and mull over? Okay, how come my best friend Becky is not coming to this meeting? I, I know that she'll love it. I know it's for her. Why doesn't she just trust me and she come? We're not going to go to all that trouble because there are other plants to take care of. There are other fish to, heart to, to find. There's other things to do with our 24 hours of time than to worry about whether or not this is the right time for Becky. It's okay that it's not Becky's time. We'll just wait. If it, if it becomes her time, she'll come to you at, at that point. Or, you know, every six months, say, hey, Becky, we're doing this. Do you want to come? Or whatever. Okay, so what happens with the sower, though, is he doesn't stop to ask what happened with those seeds. How come the birds got my seeds? He doesn't ask. He knows the birds are going to get some. I like being able to talk to people and being able to say, I don't care if you sign up or not, I'll talk to you all day. And, and enjoy the conversation without worrying about being a pushy salesperson. And I know you do too, and that's what we're talking about here. So some people, the birds are going to take them. Some of our seed is going to fall on rocky soil. And what does that mean? That means that they might sign up, they might get one or two bottles, or they might get the basic kit, not even the premium starter kit, just the basic kit. Or they might get the premium starter kit and come to a meeting or two, but as soon as your grandma's second cousin's uncle's father says that they read a bad article about Gary Young, or they read a bad article about network marketing being a pyramid scheme or whatever, they're gonna jump, they're gonna go, they're done. That's going to happen. It's going to happen. There's no two ways about it. Sometimes it's going to happen to two or three of your leaders all at the same time, and that's just the way it is. I'm not going to stop and say, how come, how come, how come? Honestly, I've done that. It doesn't help me any. You know, what helps me is getting on the phone and saying, hey, can I help you? Or how can I help you? Or what can I do for you? And some people, I can walk them through the problem or the issue, and we can find a way to come at, back to a, a certain point of wanting to build but you can't push a horse to water you can you can lead from the front you can't lead from behind so i'm going to keep going i'm not going to stop to look behind me and see who's who's following i hope you will i hope that you're part of my journey and i hope that i can help you in your journey and i'm glad to be up there and, and to to go with you to walk alongside you but i can't force you to drink from the fountain 
Okay. So next you have some of this, the sower's going to keep going. He's not going to question how come, how come. He's not going to ask why does the sun rise and set every day. Some of our good seed is going to fall on thorns, which means that they're going to join. They're going to jump in. They're going to have four or five or six signups all in the first like month or two. And it's going to be exciting and it's going to be really heady and they're going to get a commission check and they're going to be your next big builder. And then family life's going to get in the way or something's going to happen, a big move or um, some kind of, you know, life event is going to happen or something. And the th that's the thorns. That's the weeds. They're going to kind of press in for a while. And that builder is going to fall off. And you're going to wonder again, what happened? You were going so strong. You were my second leg. What happened? And if you take time to wonder and to worry over that second leg, not really pulling their weight anymore, you're going to miss the fact that leg number five down there is an up and coming person and that they need your nurturing and they need your, your, your extra time and your extra attention to get to where they're going. You're going to miss that because you're so busy trying to pull those weeds and get those thorns out of there. You're going to miss it. Okay. And finally, finally, a certain percentage, a certain portion of your seeds that you throw out there to the world and to the ground and to the cosmos and to the people around you and in your world of influence are going to fall on good soil and they're going to create deep, deep roots. And they're going to decide that this is the way that they want to proceed forward in their lives to get extra time in their lives and to get extra income in their lives and to leave that crummy job at the local Denny's as a, as a waitress and a waiter out. They don't want to have to deal with that anymore. They don't want to have to worry about, you know, whether or not, you know, the next customer through the door is going to be the one that's going to blow their day because of a bad attitude or whatever. They are going to, they're going to make deep roots. And they're going to make a plan and they're going to look out there and they're going to start sowing their own seeds and they're going to determine that no matter which way the wind blows, no matter what happens in that 24 hours, they're going to be part of this industry of network marketing and of young living as a company and that they love the product so much that they're not going to stop at anything before they've shared it with everybody they know. And as sowers, we have to understand and help those people understand that sometimes the birds are going to come and sometimes it's going to be rocky soil and, and shallow roots and sometimes it's going to be thorns. And it's just a matter of putting more seed out there and not worrying about whether or not that person is the sun that rises and sets every day. Hopefully this has made sense to you. Hopefully you will go and listen to that hour-long presentation. It's definitely worth your time and worthwhile. He gives you some steps to learn um, some things to to practice and some skills to to try to gain in terms of being a network marketer and in terms of being a successful network marketer. And it, he just, it's really, really worth your time. So um, otherwise, I will see you in the next little video and I hope these are helpful to you. And thank you again for being part of my journey and for letting me be part of your journey and help you and 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 giving me the opportunity to serve you. So have a great evening and um, have a great week.